Okay, so here we are. The recording is working, and I actually have the full version now. Um, so we are playing backgammon against Ian Terry. Ian, how are you? Doing very well. Cool. I, this is, I'm saying it like it's a fucking podcast. Uh, <laughs> were, yeah, okay, so both of us with some nice opening roles. Um, yeah, and I finally, I finally have the pro version of this recorder, so uh, we can go. We don't have to be pausing the video. No 15-minute time limit is what I mean. Ugh. Uh, I mean, it's obviously not bad, but... Yeah. Could be worse. I'm honestly... I think I'd rather hang back. Because you're not going to kill me there. How about another 6-5 dealer? <laughs> that would be great. That's a good roll, though. Yeah. Take that. I think you got to bring that down. I'm actually going to do that. I thought about bringing it down and making a five prime, but it's not like a very valuable point, and it leaves me exposed, and I could get really blocked well, up. This is one I'm not too sure of, but I, uh, I would imagine I'm killing here, right? I would imagine so, yeah. All right, I'll take that. Get, yeah. get that anchor. Sure, let's see. Ooh, um, let's see here. I guess I'm running here, right, with that guy? Uh, where would it, yeah, it would go to your six? Yep. Yeah, what else are you going to do? I guess I'm splitting my midpoint and hoping to not get bombed. Oh, we got looks. We got looks at it. We both have some solid primes going. Yeah. I think, my even though you're... Oh, I guess we're tied. No, you're ahead by four now in the race, but... There we go. Oh, no, I can't keep it. Um... I do want to block your six, though, so what to do? But I can't play any other... I guess, no, like, yeah, I guess I have to do that. Six prime. Okay, do that. Now I kind of like your position better. I definitely do, because you're going to be able to... Ooh. Ooh. Maybe I like mine now. Yeah. Uh, Where's the five deuce? Oh. Uh, that's not quite there. That's not helpful. Uh, for a while, I was a little bit worried, but no. Three builders eyeing down on it. Or I'll... Two five. Two five. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. I'm going for it because I'm going to run out of time otherwise. Juice. Ugh. All right. Six two go. or six one? Nothing. Now I'm now I'm worried. Now I'm nervous. Deuce, deuce. <laughs> God. No. Looks like I'm going to need double sixes in the next roll. Yes. Oh, you probably don't want to give me a shot there. Just Do in case. Oh, uh, shh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even... I thought that wasn't hittable for some reason. Yeah. It looks the far other away. Spot hittable, though? What? The other spot, no. Was that... The other spot was still hittable, though, right? No, it wasn't. I can't remember. No. Was it there? Uh, awkward rolls. Right. So now I guess there's bad rolls. Well, that's not the best roll for me. Yeah, well, there's one of them. I wouldn't necessarily have qualified 5-5 five, five as a bad roll in that spot, but... Yeah, I, I, I... Oftentimes I feel like I just don't count it. Right, and then it looks much worse than it actually is, or much better than it actually is. Um, do that. Oop, have one more. Do that then. Six four. 
Yeah, knowing how I tend to play, that would be coming up next. I was like still in it if I could hit some double sixes on these last couple on that roll or this one. And it's true, yeah. Ah. I have fear. Six. Uh oh. Because I'm gonna be heading for the queue, but I'll wait. For... Yeah, you might as well. I mean, you could two run out. All right, then... there we go. All right, nice hit. Um, one nothing. This is good though, then we don't have to pause the recording. Yeah, I like it. Not have to pause the recording. Hmm, I think that's probably right. I mean, you only live once. Life life's a gamble. You have to go for it. Let's see here. Um ooh, how am I playing that? Builder, I guess? Yeah. That looks good. I'll take that. Uh oh. Yeah, this is a classic position. One of the true classics. Uh oh. Well, I don't like my spot. Yeah, I'm curious how you play this. I think I know what I would do. Like, I guess go for the... I could break the bar and then just potentially cube you if you miss, but it's such disaster if I get hit that I don't think if I want to do that. you get hit, you're in a bad spot. Yeah, that I, I hate it, but I have to do that, I think. If I get hit, it's just such a nightmare. It yeah. goes from, like... A, I'm basically hoping for a coin flip versus... Maybe not hoping for a coin flip when you have one back, but... Yeah. Could easily become a coin flip versus could easily become me getting gammoned Without any hope. Yeah. Ugh, these are some ugly numbers. Schwa. Uh, let's see here. That seems right. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, match. I mean, the three is so brutal yet again. It is, yeah, because if I just, you know, ooh, um, I'm thinking I'm slotting there. I'm leaving it in there, just, oh, okay. oh, the only kill and cover. Yes, yes. The, the one in 36 <laughs> shot to kill and cover. Yes. As soon as I saw that, I think I just fist bumped a bit. <laughs> right, let's see you get a nice high roll. Okay, well, that outs. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? I <sighs> don't want to give you a double direct hit. So I think I can bring this guy closer just to narrow it. And then you hit again. I don't think so. Uh, do you hit, yeah, you hit the bar you want to break, so. I'm going to hopefully, like, if I don't get more chances, I'm going to lose anyway, so I'd rather just build my home board. Fair. Um, well, with that knowledge, uh, we'll do that. Some bad rules here coming up. I hope. Interesting. I think this is right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, uh, da, da, da. Uh, that's 
that's not going to be a hittable position if I hit you there, right? No. Well, no. There's no, no. way. No. Yeah. Put two on the bar. So get the one back in. Five, two. Uh, oh, and no closing to it. But uh, let's do that. Oh, no, no, no. We won't do that. We'll do that safer. <sighs> Let's see, five and one, we'll do that. Uh, bad roll, though. Yeah, that was a good yeah. piece of technique, moving it off the six. Yeah, protects against anything but double six or double five. That will clear that. Six four, though, but other than that. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, you, but you made it so uh, only six four and six five were bad. And double sixes and double fives. Five, oh, there's a juice. Eight, yeah. Let's see the five six dealer. Schwa! Oh, that's wrong. No, never mind. I, I thought I was on the one. Oh, okay. Sorry, it was okay. six four. Yeah. I was looking you for. Your attack there. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to being on the one where it's uh, yeah. that's a double direct shot for like the game. If it... Why am I doing this? Why am I not trying to save a gammon? I guess I have time. Yeah, you definitely have time. All right. Two one it out. Two one it out. Oh, he's got outs. He's got it. Yeah, there we go. Well, I should have just hit the cube. And well, whatever. Okay. I probably would have taken. <laughs> Alright, two nothing. See, I'm just... One robot takes there. <laughs> yeah. Incidentally, I'm still undefeated in 2015. So uh, you could, really? you could, you could. Well, I've played two matches, so okay, you could, enough. you could put an end to that. Let's see here. Where am I going with this? Um, that's that has to be right. Oh, jeez. Uh, brutal. Oh, uh, man. Um, um, I don't know about this one. I think that's it. I don't know. It might be. Sorry, I was texting someone, so I missed what was probably the most interesting uh, position of the game. Yeah, that's, fun. that's fun. Okay, well, I got to do what I was hoping. Ooh. Oh, no, nah, that's probably that's that's probably it's okay. Probably better. It's the bar pointer ahead. I think the bar point's always going to be worthwhile. Yeah, maybe not when I have an advanced anchor though. Although the hit's less worthwhile when I have an advanced anchor too. Mm, this is interesting. I feel like uh, uh, that's probably right. Start to try to build something down there in vain hope. Yeah, I don't like this odds. So I'll give you that one. I thought, I, yeah, I didn't want to get too fast and have my position crumble, and I didn't think there was that. I mean, there's obviously plenty of gamut equity, but I don't know. Could easily get bad. I think it might. It was one of those spots. I think at least where my position looks way better than it actually is compared to yours. some variation to it, right? Yeah, I like I think that's a good move. I just don't see the two point as being helpful this early. You yeah, no, I agree. It. Let's start making a home board. How do I always get down by like thirty pips in the first three turns? Hits maybe? Maybe. I see the hit and passing on it. Interesting. Midpoint's too valuable, and it would easily, it could easily get completely fucked. Yeah, midpoint's not that valuable. Ugh, God, it is, though. <laughs> the 
it feels like it is at least it's underutilized the importance of the midpoint if anything what's that uh, I seem to underutilize the importance of the midpoint, if anything. Yeah, it it just is so nice having that. Underestimate, I guess, would be the better word. Yeah, and now I have to break it like a bitch, but it's so nice having that like checkpoint to get through instead of having to get big doubles to get through. Yeah. All right. No, this it's really not that interesting of a position. Give him some awkward rolls. That's, that's not very awkward. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a. Uh... Either I get a hit or I don't kind of game. Keep building the home board. Putting on the pressure. Make him play safely. How are you doing in general? How's summer? Oh, it's been good. Um, sure. I haven't really been, uh, a, a friend of mine was in town today, like, yeah. like I said, which was good. And he's also like very, uh, experienced with coding. Oh, cool. Uh, and that was interesting because he's someone who understands games pretty well. So I introduced him to the monorail solution and what I figured out so far from the reading that I've done lately and I've actually kind of uh, made a certain amount of progress on it. Where um, what I've figured out is that it's essentially the same as well. I, I kind of recognized this earlier, but I recognized how exactly it ties to it. Where um, if you remember, there was that episode of Survivor. Whoops. There was that episode of Survivor in uh, Survivor Thailand where they played that Thai 21 game. Yeah, the, like the most easily solvable game of all time. Yeah, it's it's basically Nim. But, I mean, they just... I mean, it was it was as if like they played it with Big Brother contestants. Like, it was really bad. Yeah. So, I mean, I knew that it related to Nim. Um, and what I eventually had figured out was that it relates to, like, multi-heat Nim. Though, the general idea is that with monorail, rather than the heaps being predetermined, whenever you force the shape of the track, you're essentially saying, like, okay, now that the shape of the track is forced, you're playing Nim right. with heaps of whatever the blanks are, right? So, that's how I figure that it's related. And once you get it down to that, then it should be very easily solved. It's just the point up to the shape of the track. Okay. Yeah, once you get it to... Yeah, exactly. Once it's... Once you, once you shape the track, you're playing Nim. Right, exactly. And I, I didn't lose a single game of that today. I, I, think I, I thought I saw, that. yeah, that you had a picture of... I thought it was a monorail board, but I was and I was going to give you a hard time, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, well, it was. And, uh, <laughs> It was actually, uh, it was impossible, right, right from, like, the get-go. And I, I recognized, I, I sat and counted, and I was like, there's no way. There's just, topologically, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's go for glory. Interesting position, I think. It's got a, oh man. That's a weird roll. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm building candlesticks there, I think. I don't see anything. What am I going to do? Give you a quadruple shot with yeah. big points? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. This is where you get aces and, well, close enough, but. 
One one, there's the complete bailout. Three two now, and we're three already two. twenty minutes into this. We would have already had to. We're twenty one minutes in, so we would have had to six minutes less of this for the entire video, and we have the whole rest of the match to go. If I didn't upgrade, oh uh oh, I like the five six Man, five six. I'm racing right away, and I'm not racing right away. Let's get that bar. Just pull a double six. Fuck. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ugh. Ugh, that's such a huge hit versus non-hit. I, I, I was like, it's either, oh, well, you're going to hit there, too. Uh, well, we're going to make the bar point. Yeah, that's a, this is a much more even game now. I think this is uh, definitely where I'm going to start to slob a little bit there. How far behind am I? It's I in. It's some major, major mistake. Where am I missing something here? No, I'm just pushing an edge, I'll be honest with you. I think 18 is enough to cube. Wow. Uh, you're probably right. Um, well, in a position that is this often going to not result in contact. And it is probably going to be a race, right? Right. But, I mean, I feel like the... You know what? I feel like it's a coin flip to me, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, I think it's probably a good take. I'm just trying to kill time. Just give me like three. I'm not really gonna, you know, it's not the end of the world. Give me a six five and then five five again. Five two is pretty. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Oh, I just got rid of my. It forced all of my eight point into uh, my home board. Yeah, I actually did like that. Let's see here. It means I don't have choices about sixes anymore. I mean, I'm going to try to make a new point while the making is good. If you want to be a hero, go for it. Just have a good home board. Oh, man. Uh, here's the interesting spot. Yeah, this is the... the I mean, this is really interesting. The point of contention for potentially the entire match with the cube and play. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, your home board is strong, though. Although mine's not bad. It's not as strong as yours. Yours is, I mean, yours is arguably better, because you have... I have the guys in the, in the waiting. Right? right, and you have it all filled out from the back, whereas my five is open. Well, let's try this. But I, yeah, I think it's definitely a kill. But I can at least conceivably okay. get through here quickly. Okay. Um, it's now a little messier, but we really, we'll take that risk. Fuck. The 6-5. Getting me in trouble. Right, let's try to vary this out a little bit. Let's see here. Okay, well, you're back in. Yeah, and the race is basically even. Well, it was until that. Oh, well, no, I don't like this. Or do I? No, I don't think I do. Um, there's really not a lot of choice here, is there? No. No. I guess... Uh, what am I doing here? Bring guy, bring bring guy down and hit it. That's it. Yeah, really. it's nothing else. Yeah. Hopefully no two. Okay, well we, we miss it. And hopefully we get something to box you in. Um, do I? I don't think I do. Well, ooh. yeah. See now we get interesting again. But now what to do with the? Uh, oh, my <laughs> um. Well, let's see. Probability wise, what's the better? Oh, I guess this, because it only leaves one blot, whereas the other would leave two. And you'd have to hit it. You'd have to get it. You'd have a direct shot either way. Yeah. And, I mean, 
it's just it comes down to a two versus having. Oh, I definitely would have. I would have killed me so I can at least get a chance. Uh, uh, With the well, there you go. From six. Well, I mean, it's not over yet. Yeah. Uh, Let's see the five. Or else we're gonna have some problem. Well, do I kill? Yeah, I guess I kill you here. Try to try to get the fence in. Doesn't work. Beauty. Beauty. That was, bad. that was that was a nice turnaround. That was a blunder, man. That was bad. No. I missed that. It, well, yeah, I mean. Oh boy, here it comes. Omar coming. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well. Drop the anchor at least. Let's move some guys down. Try to get some uh, get something going. And the good news for you is I'm at least. Oh, that's a direct shot that I probably should have considered, it, it, or indirect ooh, shot. That's, that's ooh. Oh man. Uh, I don't know that I like this. Well, let's see here. Um, I feel like well, obviously making it a race is essentially resigning. So, um, let's see here. But you have to move at least one of them. Well, so the... I, yeah, I mean, well, that's... Yeah. Well, so I honestly I'm think... moving two of these and then moving each of the other ones, one each. That is essentially making it a race? I guess not. I mean, you could you could have some sort of... You can get a four and you're stuck. Yeah. I think back there. So I think that's really the best shot I think that I have. Is hope you get fours. Yeah, well... Oh, that, yeah, you have to use the six back there. And then, well, at least I'm rolling okay. At the end of it. Nah, it's not going to work like that. It's definitely not going to do it. Uh, oh, come on. No, <laughs> you're not going to get gammon unless I... I don't even think it was possible to gammon you. Oh well. Wow. That yeah. was the, that's why I think running with the sixes was fine because like, there's it nothing does, you can yeah. do in staying behind. You're making it way more likely that you get gammoned than that you win. Right. Like it's not worth it to go for the win when uh, yeah. when when it doesn't work. You're gonna get gammoned so often. It's better. It's essentially better to just make it a race and resign yeah. for the two points. Yeah. You're like happy to get out of it for two. And that's that's the thing, is four or three, I, I mean I assume that risk going into it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I mean I, I could live with that. It's one point. Alright, well I actually like that. Uh well, well I, I mean I make the bar. What do I do with this five here? Well I'll just bring it down, I guess. Kick that any day. Uh okay. And then uh, I guess I could have killed with that 4-1. No, I couldn't have. 6-2. Uh, yeah, that seems right. That. I have a lot of variation here. Uh, so we can do that. That's a good roll. Mm. That's totally useless. Um, um, that is messy right there. Um, oh man. Yeah. Make your ace, uh -huh. maybe? I think that's it. Yeah, I just have to play it safe. That's also, it's getting ugly. That's gnarly. Oh, man. Play it. We'll see how it plays out. 
Ah. Uh. Tough spots. All right, let's think this through here. Um, oh man, this is a good position. Very interesting one. I really don't see any other move aside from hitting you. Yeah. It's anything decent. So put that there and move that to the ace point, I think, is correct. Or maybe maybe just... Uh, don't move. Yeah, don't move your builder. Yeah. No, no, no. Move the one in the back. Yeah. The builder could be huge. Yeah, well, you hit it. So there you go. All right, here we go. Ah. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Almost. There we go. That seems to be correct. Right to, no. Yeah, well, because you want to have the five opened up. Um, shit. What is more valuable here? The one point, I think putting it on the two is where I need to go with that. I, yeah, it sucks with the... Uh... And then just kind of clean up the back one. Hope you don't hit there on the four. Um, miss. Give it a nice six there to get out of it, maybe. Okay, hope that you miss here. Okay, you missed. One of these days. Yeah. Uh, I guess I got really lucky. Did, Pretty Pretty get that one hit in there. Okay, so now another similar position. Here we go. Oh, tough. <sighs> oh man, this is tough. Um, uh, I don't. I definitely don't leave you two direct shots, and I really, I'm even hesitant to leave you the one. So I think I might just play in my home board on this three. Uh, what about I leaving me like two things. indirects, and making your uh, nine point? Probably not the end of the match if that would go wrong too, which I think is interesting. Which I thought about. There. It doesn't really but add anything. It just makes it so you don't have to break up your home board, which is huge. Probably leaving three indirects there. Yeah, I would. Um, okay, let's let's take the chance here. Oh, I think that's a nailer too. Yeah, that's the, the ultimate prime. nailer. The six prime, <laughs> the six prime kill. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Oh, wait, that, well, I, I could use that out. Yeah. So nice two, well, actually. That's actually, like, pretty, this is a better position than what you were just in for you. Oh, I guess my you, God. Yeah, I, I saw the double fours, and I was excited, because that was, oh, well, I'm not excited about that. But. Yeah, now this is not so great. That's backgammon, though. That's that's what happens that is, as positions yeah. change yeah. Um, like that. Yes. You're uh, on roll. I wish it was just automatic. Yeah. That we're stuck. Let's get this gammon in. Yeah. Oh, we like it. We like being able to take them, two of them off. Oh. If I miss the gammon by one turn, I'm going to be so frustrated. But I don't want to give it away, so I'm going to play it the safe way. Okay. All right. There you go. What do I have? Come on. There you go. You're Six turns. Get no, I'm fine. Yeah, about. Right. Oh. No! Oh my god! What? Massive! Just complete oh oversight. I forgot you were on the bar. I deserve okay. to get killed right here. Come on. Four! Oh my god. Just complete autopiloting. <laughs> like. As if we're just bearing off. Uh, there, there's what I needed there. Yeah, that is massive, actually. Uh, I'm not with that. Oh my god, I can't I've never done that in my, literally in my life. I've done it many a time. <laughs> I just I not like, even see like, you. Maybe like 50% of my losses to Blunderbond, if, if not more than that, are because of something of that nature. It's called, it's like, yeah, it's 4 a.m., I'll get the last game in, and no. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
let's see, what am I doing here? Um, Except for me, it would be like, yeah, it's 9 o'clock, I'll play a couple matches, and then it's like 6.30 in the morning, and I haven't done anything else. <laughs> like, yeah, right? I, I, when I was living in Bangor, I had like several double-digit hour sessions just playing on fibs. Ah, uh, choices. Yes. Well, I know what choice I'm going to make. <laughs> Alright, let's get that deep anchor. Okay, yeah, I'll take that any day of the week. That was the thing, is yeah, you're going to make that. Okay, let's see here. What am I doing? Well, I feel like it has to be that, right? I should probably at least acknowledge that I have runners in your territory that I need to do something about. Right. <laughs> it should it's, cross my mind. It's, it, I often will forget those are there, too. <laughs> Let me see here. Um, now, the six, uh, I really don't see uh, any usefulness aside from running that guy back. And then I guess the idea is, do I want to risk it? and put the one in the ball and just try to hope that I get a connection there in the next turn and that you don't hit. Uh, do I really want to leave two blots out is the question, especially being this far behind. I mean, I think I need to have some good comeback anyway, so I think I'm just going to take the chance. I like that move. Uh, yeah. Well, Let's kill that one first. Yep. Okay, so we'll do that, we'll get him back there. Yeah, I'm just hoping to get a six of some sort here. Okay, and then I'll take, oh, come on now. Close that off. Nice llama. Yes, that is. I forgot all about that. Okay. God, why do I have to be a hero? Why am I such a hero? There's your five points. And now you've got a nice double anchor there. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Oh, ooh, what is this? What is this? Um, hmm, your bar point's looking mighty tasty right there. So yeah, that. yeah. I would probably yeah. do that as well. Tracks. Uh... With a, with a long prime, too. So. Let's see here. Oh, um, okay. I don't think that's particularly useful. You can at least balance. Like, get yeah. some, you know what I mean? Stack up, get builders. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really what it comes down to here. One, two, jeez. Oh, Three, four, is that what I'm going with? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's an indirect shot either way. So. And I'm probably not. That's a four point, though. What about that four point? That looks nice. Uh, it's either a complete wit. No, see. Uh, screw it. We'll go for that. Let's, really, let's see the four point. That's what. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so. Get that here. Alright. Um, a little variability. Yeah, for me, it's like, I don't, send, I don't even... We're back there, I'm thinking, is it a liability? But you already have the double anchors, so... I don't really see that as too... Uh... Yeah, for me, I don't care at all about getting hit there. Fuck. Sure. I need another one, so I can... Fuck. It's a candlestick right there. Yeah. Fuck. Man, I can't believe I've had your prime back there for a while. Uh, we'll see how long that goes. Yeah, this, this transposed pretty nicely for you. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a four prime hold up that well. I got some gnarly rolls right here. Well, that's actually not that bad. Yeah. Could be worse. Now I have some pretty nasty rolls, but... Let's 
keep those threes coming. Big threes. See, if I win this game, that's that's new hope, right? Because it's the Crawford. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Ah, fuck. Okay, so we just have to roll this one out, but... Yeah. Probably won't take too long. <laughs> Oops. Come on. You just click like that. Oh, close game, 6-4. With the cube presumably about to fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've gotten better or if you've gotten worse. Probably a lot of both. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'll just hit the next turn. A little too angst, uh, antsy with the button there. Well, I'm just gonna have to double it. Yeah, no point not doubling it. Alright, let's see here. Ooh. For the people, if anyone's actually watching this, they couldn't cube <laughs> last time because it was because it was game point for me. Oh, man. Ah, fuck it. It's worth the risk. Yeah, you got to. You got ball out. Oops. Oops, hello. What am I doing here? Oh, man. Um, oh, shit. Oh, man. Um, one. Fuck it. Hit you there. Hopefully you can find me in or something now. Wait, do you have the same fucking... Yeah, text yeah, alert is me. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I just paused the recording. So, uh, oh, and that's a good roll to to get it back in time on. Uh, but we're back. All right, and this is actually very close. Oh, wow. Now, actually, I'm in a good spot yeah, with that that yeah, five deuce. I, I was I was that two five there. Yeah, that was a very fortunate yeah. roll. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's the Joker, probably. Yeah, easily. Didn't you have a five point board, and I just had one yeah, guy on your bar? Like, I got yep. lucky to not have gotten double-killed the turn before. Yeah. Oh, shit, you're up in the race. Take that now. Now I just need a nice big roll here. Fuck. Yeah, do it. Fuck. Way up in the I did not pay, like, oh, there we go. Really, we, we took turns getting lucky, and now it's back in your, uh, back in your court here. I think I'm still ahead in the race, though. Not by much. Yeah, but, I mean, I needed that to, like, stay alive. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's do it. The race is on. Oh, there it is. The race is. There's the 2 1. As Paul Magro would say to Phil Helmuth in my probably my favorite poker blow clip ever. Which one was it? Uh, Magro versus Helmut. What did he say? Um, so, um, Magro says, he had, goes in with 7-7, seven, seven, and I forget what uh, Helmut had, but... Oh! Oh. Um, Deuce! As they, Deuce! As soon as they flip... No! Do it! No! Sorry. <laughs> as soon as they flip... Um, uh, Magro just looks at him and he just goes, off to the races, and then, you know, Helmut is just not amused at all. <laughs> I do know exactly what you're talking about now that you say that. Yeah. And, uh, the, the ensuing flip out when Magro wins the hand is just... Incredible. Yeah. I do know what you're talking about. It, yeah. Where Helmut was just, like, so invested in winning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was... And, 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 and then he uh, goes back uh, and he's like, yeah, I knew that maniac was going to go off like that. that guy, you know, he had like pocket it, sevens or something? Um, yeah, yeah. McGrill had pocket sevens. All in with pocket sevens. <laughs> and it's like, I knew McGrill, that lunatic, I knew he was going to do something like that. <laughs> yeah. So now it's 6-6. Six, six. The winner of this game wins it all. Oh, man. Ooh. 
is an interesting spot. Yeah. Kills there, covers there. I mean, you know, you've got a nice little thing going in the back there, which makes me want to hit, but then at the same time, I mean, I still have to get the other guy out of there, and you can hit the block that's in my board. Uh, man. Race is even. Yeah, this is a really interesting spot here. Um, the other question is, what would I do with the other two uh, if I were just to make the home point? And, th I mean, is it really worth it to get another guy back there for me? Probably not. I mean, oh, man. We're going to go for it. Yeah, I think See that's the idea. Yeah. Oh. I'm just going nuts on this game. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with it. <laughs> like... Oh man, you know I think I'll just go go completely insane too. Mm -hmm. What's hoping for? Let's do it. Jeez, we gotta. This is like what it looks Get like. Yeah. Lots. I mean, what? What is this? Um, I mean, I, it's everywhere today. Here comes the two. <laughs> Here's the five. Oh uh, no. <laughs> That's bad. I think that last one to split to unstack yeah, was that was importantly a blunder. Go for it. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Not a good time to be fanning here. Okay. Oh man, it's a nice roll too. A nice six three. No, come on. Um, let's see. What am I playing here? Mildly interesting spot. Um, no, it's got to be this, right? I'll take a six three as well. The double anchors are always good for defense. Ah, oh. heartbreaker. That's a horrible point to lose. Oh no, that's totally wrong. Um, hmm. Nah, I don't think you have much choice. Um, that's, is that it? That can't be right. Well, fuck it, go for it. Yeah. I was just going to run with one of the back and the double anchor. If I, if I rolled your side. Oh, there you go. Huge yeah. props. Let's give people a hashtag if they made it this far. <laughs> yeah, right? You're still listening to this, where there's basically no commentary in this game. Yeah. We're just phoning it in entirely. <laughs> uh, ooh, what am I doing here? Let's think this through. Um, uh, um, yeah, we'll do that. Come on. Uh, one short. One short on it. Um, well, we can get your bar point and then clean that up. That's always nice. Yeah. 
And there was no real use to hitting anywhere with all those blocks in there. I'm actually going to leave the indirect, just because you have the two in there already. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. And let's when see. I'm up by a million in the race. Yeah. Leading this up a bit, or what am I doing here? Um, let's see, we'll do the three there and the T there. No, that's not really gonna be. Um, let's see here. What am I doing with this? Um. Uh. Try to get out of your home board, maybe make a little wall. Um. Yeah, I'm leaving you a direct shot if I'm doing this, though. I don't really see anything else. Make the midpoint? I don't know. That That's probably about as good as it's going to get. Uh, two primes not going to be too useful over there, and especially with leaving you a direct shot where it could get really messy quick, and that's the end of the game. So, Hitting, also an idea. Hitting was possible there? Oh, mother... Uh, I don't know. See, I missed that. I don't know how I missed that. Well... Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not out of the woods yet. I need to roll a yeah. ten or eleven or twelve or doubles. Messy there. No, doubles don't even do it for me. Because double threes See, and double fours are Two indirect shots. Three indirect shots is worse than a direct shot. Right? Three indirect shots? It depends yeah. on the context. Like if I have a shitty home board, then no, but yeah, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Because the um, thing with the pe the beauty of indirect shots is it requires them using both numbers. They can't clean anything else up and hit. Right, right. Yeah. Let's play this. No ace from Space Dealer. No, nope, come on. Ace, ace. Oh! It can never just be easy. <laughs> it never is. The ace from Space. Is. Tony G would scream, is it, I'm on a little here. Get that. Yeah, that's smart. Get that outfield. Because it doesn't matter if you get gammoned. you got to kill me. Right. Okay. Oh, that would have been the nastiest fade, too, if I'd actually played the two out and would be in a sixth spot now. matter if I get gammoned, as you said. I mean, I pretty much just have to uh, put it on the table, hope you get something, hope you avoid the five and six, try to clean up, and then that's it. I mean, yeah. this is it. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, my own roll? No. I'm just trying to make it so fours are doubled for you, duplicated. Six four. One, five, oh. There's your six four. Yeah. I have bad rolls. That's true. Yeah. Come on. There we go. All right. That's gonna be the end of it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys for watching. If you, if literally anyone did. Yeah. If you made it all the way to the end, congratulations. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, Ian, thanks for playing. Very good, a very good match. Yeah. yeah, we had some crazy positions and some crazy fucking... I feel like it yeah, went underreported how fluky some of those rolls were because they happened so close to each other. Uh, no, absolutely. Like, I didn't even have time to react to the five deuce because then you rolled 6-6 six, six to steal the win from me. Like, yeah, I mean, I that was a great game. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just all around. Yeah. Uh, very good match, very good match. All right. Hey, uh, thanks for playing. Yep. See ya.